Alright guys, what's up? So today we're going to do some Fighter Pack Zero gameplay for Injustice. And if you have no clue what Fighter Pack Zero is, it's basically this Fighter Pack idea that was thought of for Injustice 2 in the early stages of development and unfortunately we never got it. And what it is, it's a Fighter Pack composed of 4 characters from the original Injustice game, those including Doomsday, Aerie, Shazam, and Batgirl. So like I said, unfortunately we did not get them in Injustice 2, but today we're going to see exactly what we're missing out on. So anyways, without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so what we're going to do is just go through each of the characters' special moves and then we're going to do one massive combo with each character that ends in their super move. And each of these combos are going to do more than half of the health bar. So anyway guys, this is going to start with Shazam. Uh, let's look at his move sets. So this is his set of moves and they're, they're super good guys. So we're going to start from top to bottom. So the first one you saw, Atlas Torpedo, it's this one. And it's a really great move. Say someone's zoning you, you could get him from like mid-range. Alright, that was a little too far. Yeah, like like this distance, which is definitely really good. And you could meter burn it for more damage. And it's just, it's a really good move. You could like end combos with it just like that. Yeah, yeah, it's probably what it would be mainly used for. Just to like finish some combos. And yeah, as you can see, it does pretty good damage. Uh, 27% with that little combo that you guys saw. Anyway, guys, let's go on to the second move, Boat of Zeus. This one is his zoning move. You could just zone someone out. I could definitely see someone getting zoned out by this. And you can meter burn it for more damage. And yes, like I said, it's definitely his zoning tool. And a really good one, honestly. So yeah, that's what I'm saying, guys. Shazam has a really good move set. Like, he could just do in-close and personal moves like that. Or zoning moves. He's really great. Especially this next move called Herculean Might. This move might be one of his best because it's a grab. Let me see if I can even land it. There you go. And what you could do is you could actually, like you just saw, you could combo off it. And like I said, it, it's a grab move, which means that they can't really block it. I think if you crouch, you might be able to block it. But other than that, it's pretty hard to block. And like I said, you just meter burn it and you could do a full combo off it. Like that. Check that out. So yeah guys, definitely one of his uh, in close and personal moves, which is definitely really good. Oh, that was a cool one, huh? Alright, let's go on to the next one. Oh, alright, so this, the last two, which is Mercury Storm, Advancing and Eluding, they're his teleportation moves, which honestly, they're like probably his coolest looking moves. I mean, look how cool that looks. And this move is really great just to dodge stuff. Say someone is about to do their super move, just go ahead and dodge it. Yeah, that's what I would always do. Or if someone is throwing one of these things at you, you could just dodge it with this and it definitely works. Alright, so let's go ahead and just go straight to the combo. Hopefully I land it in the first three tries. I'm not sure if I will. But we're going to go ahead and, and do it. And also we're going to use this, which is his character power. It's uh, Solomon's Judgment. And what it does, man, it increases his damage so much. Like almost double. So check it out, that's what it looks like, and get ready to see the combo. Like I said, let's hope I land it first try. Wait, was it? Oh, okay, sorry, I clicked the wrong button there, guys. Alright, let's see. Oh, man, that's not good. That's already, is that two tries? Yeah, this is the third one. Oh, I might get it. There you go, we got it. Awesome, in the third try. Alright, so look, just look at the health bar. Look how much damage it's already done, and it's not even done yet. Alright, and uh, you can see under where it says 16 hits, look how much damage it is. 64%. That's just ridiculous, guys. 64% for one simple combo. I mean, not simple, but like, it's not super hard either, you get me? I learned this in like, honestly, like 30, like, I was going through every single character in the training room trying to learn the coolest combo, and this one took me about like half an hour to learn. But 64% in one single combo, that's just ridiculous, guys. Alright, check that out. We got it a second time, luckily. Um, where is it? 64% damage, guys, in one combo. And just to show you how much damage that is, because I have this, his trait activator, right? So let's just see how much it does without his trait. So I'm just going to do it regular now. Let's hope I land it. Oh, man, I missed it. Alright, but you can already see what was the damage difference from his trait to regular. Alright. Oh man, I keep missing the super move part. Alright, let's see. Please, I hope I get it this time. There you go, we got it. Alright, so with his trade on, 64, right? Right now, it's only gonna look like we're at 50. Okay, actually, it might it might do. <laughs> it might still do some good damage. 
Uh, what is that? Like 50. Alright, 55. So it does around 10% more damage with this on, which honestly, 10% could definitely be like the cost of a match. So yeah, definitely a really great and fun character. I mean, you saw his movesets, super good. He has in close and personal moves. He has zoning moves. He has amazing combos just like this one. And you don't have to end it in your super move. You can end it with whatever. So, see, I just do it regular. Like, uh, I don't know. Let's see what else I could end it with. Because, like, a lot of people might be like, oh, yeah, you only have that much damage because it's a super move. Not really. You could just do it just like that. Look at that. 58. Nearly 60% damage. And that there was no super move. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and move on to the next character, which is Doomsday. Alright, so now we have Doomsday, like I said. And, man, is he, a, like, out of all the characters... I remember I used to rely on him whenever I was getting zoned and you might be like wait why would he go against zoning right and the main reason is this his character trait so what his character trait does is uh it, you become basically invulnerable to everything here like I'll put the AI to hit me let me see where is he all right let's go ahead and put it in very hard mode and everything all right oh wait I have to set it <laughs> my bad all right uh very hard all right we're good all right look at that no damage take i mean damage taken but i i don't even move damn oh look we both used it <laughs> that looks so funny so look at that we basically become like invulnerable to everything damn this thing is way too fast oh wait could he gang with that wait could he, i don't even know if that works like that i think he could gang with your suit with his super move let's see what i did the super move and it didn't even work damn all right well you guys you guys see the point his tray is definitely one of the best ones in the whole game so yeah th that's that's why i would um that's why i would use doomsday against zoning characters because just put that on and just advance to them and anything they do it's just gonna it's just not gonna stop you and let's see what the name of it is oh doom to all obviously so yeah guys definitely a great super move i mean uh character trait but the thing is it doesn't affect damage so look we're gonna do a back three meter burn that did 16.50 right with his trade on now regular 16.50 so as you see it doesn't do a damage difference at all but who cares you become invulnerable so anyways let's get to his moveset air snatch air snatch is his first move it's really good it's to to catch them from the air just like that and you can meter burn it for more damage so yeah it's it's definitely a good anti-air move say someone's like always jumping in the match which i hate when people do that then yeah you just go ahead and do this let's see if i get it i don't know why i'm not even landing that that's weird that's like one of the easiest moves to do there you go all right so yeah that's it just an anti-air move De definitely a really great move like i said just to anti-air or you could finish combos say or like that just, there you go a quick little combo did 35 damage all right his next move is venom and this is like his uh his like tackle move it's definitely good and quick so yeah if you're like mid distance you could do that and you'll get them and if you're across the whole screen you could do it and meter burn and you go even further so you might not get to him fully but oh no you do get to him fully all right let's see so it's a full screen move meter burn oh yeah definitely really great all right so that's his second move venom and upward venom oh this one's probably my favorite this is probably my favorite anti-air you just it just goes in a diagonal way and it's really great to anti-air and you could even meter burn it just like that and honestly you can just finish combos with it if you want to let me see let's see if i get it oh man i'm not landing that it's not good there you go all right so yeah you can combo off it anti-air you can get some distance to say you're here just meter burn it and you'll, you'll land on them all right his other move earth shake also really good this one i don't know oh yeah you have to be blocking low so it's definitely good if, if you see them walking you could just do that and and yeah obviously you can meter burn it and you could just get a full combo off that i i think you can let me see oh okay you could get a full combo but you might not be able to uh to back three yeah i don't i mean i think you could i'm just i'm not landing it yeah i'm pretty sure you could like i said i'm just not landing it which really sucks if i could land that all right but whatever like i said you can still you can still do some damage just like like i said you could just combo off it with other moves like like that ah, that's actually his last move all right but let's go ahead and try to get, try to make get a little combo off this there you go check that out 28 damage all right i'm satisfied now 
All right, so his last move, Supernova, definitely the best move he has as to distance wise or getting in. So yeah, you just saw me do it from far, right? It doesn't go straight to him, but if you meter burn it, it lands from anywhere in the map, it lands on him. Just meter burn it, there you go, lands right on him. And yeah, if they're close to you, you can just do that and you're gonna get some pretty good damage regardless. Because it, it hits him when he goes up and when he goes down. And like I said, just meter burn it and wherever the hell he is, yo, you'll get to him. That's definitely a really great move just to come in on him or, or just to... Just for damage, honestly. Like, you, you could combo off that as well, let me see. Wait, how is it? Okay, let's see, let's see. We gotta land the combo with each of his moves. There you go, awesome, 33 damage. All right, so let's go ahead and get right to this uh, super awesome combo that I found out. Let's see if I could even land it. Oh man, messed up right there. All right, let me see. This one, honestly guys, this one might take a bit more. This was like the hardest, the hardest one to land. So if this one does take a while, I'll just cut right to it. I'll try a few more times. All right, it failed it again. Let me see. Yeah, I'm not. I don't know why I'm not landing it. All right, let me see. I'll try. I'll try. I'll try a few more times with you guys. I'm not. Like I said, just gonna edit right to it. Oh, oh man, that was it. But I, I didn't land the the last part. Damn, I'm getting so close, guys. All right, if I don't land this one, just three more tries. All right, three more tries. Let's see. All right, Th those aren't considered tries because I'm not even there. You go. I'm not even doing the back three. Oh man! All right, that was one try. Let's see, second try. Oh man, didn't work out either. All right, last try. Let's see. Oh, didn't work. All right, guys. So I'm just gonna edit it right to when I get it. Okay. See you. All right. Let's hope I get it this try. I don't even know what number of tries I'm on right now, guys. Let's see. There you go. We got it. Oh, perfect. All right. Damn that. That's a quite a few tries. Alright, so this one does 52% and look how many hits, 46, yeah, 52% damage. So I'm not going to retry that one, because that one took me forever to get, I even had to cut and edit, so yeah guys, feel free to rewind and watch that. But yeah, overall guys, he's definitely a really great character, just to like, he's a brute man, like you could just, you could like, man, I, I would be almost anyone when I used him. Cause, mainly because of this, because of his trait. Oh, but the thing is, Superman could actually counter his trait. Like, I don't know if you guys know, but Superman's trait, it breaks any type of armor. And it's definitely one of the best traits in the game, I think. I mean, Superman's. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and move on to Ares now. Alright, so like I said, now we have Ares. And Ares, guys, is honestly, he's a really cool character. I don't know why, but a lot of people didn't like him in the original Injustice game. I actually did, though. So like I said, we're just going to go through some of his moves. So this is his moveset. Uh, phase Shifter, that's his first one. Man, that one is probably the coolest one. So look, I'm going to do it. You guys, you guys are probably like, oh, that's dumb. You can still see his outline, right? Even though he's invisible. But check this out. Meter burn it, and he's just gone. You could see where he lands and walks. Not where he walks. You could just see where he lands if I jump. But if I'm walking, I could just walk to you, and they would not know where the hell you are. I mean, it's, it's definitely a really cool move. Just don't jump so, so you don't give your spot away. Alright, his next move, God Smack. This is his like main move. So what it is, is that... And the cool thing about it, is that you could control the distance. So as you see, it says close God Smack, far God Smack. And then God Smack, the original one, is just a medium range. So say uh, they're across the screen. Just do the far one, and look at that. It gets them. Yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely his uh, move to like come in on you. Or say he's just, he's really close, you could just, uh, let me see, I'm gonna do the close one. Oh, once I land it, there you go. Oh, look at that, he, ba he barely even moves. He does it like right where he's standing, basically. Alright, let's see. Yep, look at that. And then, obviously, the regular one is just medium range. Yeah, definitely a great move to come in on your enemy, and then you could just rush in and do more stuff. Yeah, r really good move. Then Dark Energy, that's his uh, zoning tool. If you don't want them to get close to you, then you can Meter Burn it for more damage, and it knocks them down. And it does way more damage, Meter Burn. Alright, so regular, uh, 7%. Meter Burn, probably more than double that. Oh yeah, double that, it does 14. And honestly, you could end combos with that, which is really good. Alright, um, then we have... Oh right, he has a teleportation move as 2, just like Shazam. 
which is called the warp transmission. So you could just go ahead and do this. I remember I used to do this too to evade people's super moves. Or like I said, if they throw a, a one of the stage things at you, you, just go ahead and do this and you're good. Alright, and now for his uh, trait, let's see. Weapons of War, Straight Sword, Sword, Axe. It's He basically has a sword and an axe that he could just uh, throw. He could just like, let me see, how do I do? There you go. So you do have to click uh, like the analog stick buttons. You can't just click um, the power button twice. As you see here, you'll see that straight axe, downward axe, a rising axe. All right, so let's see. Oh. All right, so that's a straight one, and then downward axe. There you go. So yeah, it's definitely it's definitely cool because like it, it's it's the whole screen, you know. And that one, I'm pretty sure it'll get them even if they're jumping. The sword, you might be able to jump because you know the sword is really skinny. But the axe, look at that. It's just a giant rotating axe. You're not gonna dodge that. Alright, so yeah, they're pretty good. Not like great, but pretty good. Alright, so now we're gonna get into this combo. So like I said, each of the combos that I do does more than half of the health bar. With Shazam I did 64, with uh, Doomsday I did 52, and with Ares I think it does 58. So it might take me a few tries, I hope I don't have to cut. Oh, I already messed up there. So this is it, well, what you're watching right now is it. Alright, messing up, but not too bad. There you go, we actually got it. That was pretty quick. Alright, so check out how much damage he already has. That's like half the bar already. Now look at the arrows, they just destroy him. And now the hand of God. Just kidding, he's not God. Alright, so check it out, 22 hits, and look at that, 58%. Definitely a really good combo. I mean, obviously you can't do it in, in like regular online mode, because I'm in practice mode, and they put their meters up all the way, so I could do like the coolest combos. And yeah, check it out. I landed it again just like that. Alright, so it does 58% and it definitely looks really cool. But he actually he actually has cooler combos. So I'm going to show you guys another variation of that. And let's see if I can end it first try. Uh, there you go. That was awesome. I got it first try, guys. And if you guys didn't see, it looked way cooler than the other, than the other combo in my opinion. I think it does a little bit less damage, but whatever. It looks really cool. Alright, uh, 51%. So we'll see it again really quick, just because I thought it looked super awesome. Alright, let's see. You even use his uh, character power. You saw me throw the sword up, right? Yeah. Alright, and uh, after this, that's it, guys, because we've already seen his super move like four times. So yeah, guys, Ares is a really great character, and if they were going to release him, they should have just done it before the Wonder Woman movie. So unfortunately, like I said, we're probably not going to get Ares anymore. In, in Injustice 2, almost like for sure. But whatever, guys, because we're we're getting... uh Who are we getting? Oh, right, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Which, I can't lie, I'm not a fan of. I'm not going to bandwagon, but whatever. I mean, if they have great gameplay, that's fine with me. Alright, so now we're going on to the last character, which is Batgirl. Alright, so now we have Batgirl, which is supposedly a super OP character in Injustice. And she kind of is. I mean, she has such a great move, guys. Like, like I don't, I can't even explain. Her moves are so good. You could combo off so much stuff. It's really great. So let's start off uh, with her move set: smoke bomb and air smoke bomb. This is probably her best move to like combo, I guess, because you can literally just get them anywhere and just back three, and then go ahead and finish off the combo. Which I don't know why they're not landing. Alright, so what it does, obviously that, you just put a rope around them, whatever, it's a, it's a, I don't land it, but whatever. So you, you just put a rope around them, and and if you meter burn it, it, obviously, like you see, you could combo off it. Regular, it just kicks her out, like that. Still a good move, because um, I remember I used to use this also when someone was zoning me, especially with Deathstroke. When they were zoning me, just jump, and go do that while they're shooting, and then you, you meter burn it, and you get a full combo. So de definitely a really great com I mean a really great move. Like I said, just the party one of the best combo starters. And the best thing is you could do it in the middle of combos, just like that. Check it out, look at her life bar, it's still all connected. Alright, you see? All connected. That was what a uh, 33% damage. So yeah, smoke bomb, really great combo starting move. And really great anti-zone tool. Especially for like guns, because whenever they're shooting, just jump and get them with it. And that's it. Like I said, I feel like I'm repeating myself too much. Anyway guys, let's go ahead and look at her next move, Batarang. Obviously, what kind of Bat Family character doesn't have this? It's a Batarang. And when Meter Burn, it does uh, that. Which is like, pretty good damage. 
So it throws like four, I think. Yeah, so when you meter bring, just throw four downwards. And it does 70% damage uh, meter bring. So let's see if we could combo off that. Yeah, look at that. Almost 30% damage off the super basic combo. So yeah, it's definitely really cool, guys. Let's see, did that do 30? Nope, that did less. Alright, so Flying Bat. Flying Bat, it's this uh, upward move. That was not it. Alright. That was also... There you go, that was it. So as you see, she just flies up at you. Definitely an um, uh, anti-air tool. So if, someone, if, if someone's just jumping in on you like that, just go ahead and hit them with this and you're good. And you can actually meter burn it. And you got like, you could do a little combo, I guess. You gotta be really quick though. Let me see. Let me see if I can land this. Oh man, I'm not landing it. There you go. Alright, 17% uh, damage as well. And obviously, you could use it as a combo finisher if you, that's what you would like. Let me see. I'll try to get a little combo with her. Ah, oh, didn't work. But whatever, the point is guys, you can definitely use this as a anti-air tool. There you go, as a combo ender, whatever you would like. It's it's not one of my favorites, but it's definitely good to, like I said, anti-air. Bat Evade, this one is really good. Alright, so Bat Evade, what you just saw me do is nothing, right? So you're like, what is that? Nothing. But say, uh-huh, there you go. So if you double, that's not meter burn, by the way. There's no meter being used in that. What you do is, alright, so you see here it says... Uh, down backwards A and then if you click A again she does that and that little uh, kick down and then you click Y oh okay she does uh, the the bat flares or whatever that's called and then you kick X you click uh, down A X she goes uh, straight in the air this is probably a better anti-air tool than this so yeah guys it's it's one of those moves that there's like a bunch of variations here check it out special moves where is it oh, okay bat evade all right, you see, bat evade, and you see flying kick X, scatter bombs Y, dive kick A, and then when you meter burn it, it's probably one of the best things. So remember the move in the beginning, smoke bomb. Well, when you meter burn bat evade, that's what you get. It's definitely, it's definitely a really quick tool. Like, all right, say you don't want to click down down A because it takes a while or whatever, just click, do it like that. It's way quicker. It's called bat evade, right? Yeah, bat evade. Bat evade is is one of the moves that it has like four different variations it's really it's a really great move guys all right just like that you get a little combo off that and if you just want to hit them with it just go for it and if they're if they're jumping too much just go for it in the air oh and look at that you could even take your time i didn't know about that <laughs> that's funny yeah it's honestly a really great move probably one of her best moves all right then we have bat bola is that what it's oh no bab is bola because you know bad girl is barbara and that's what it does you just catch them and if you meter burn it you could just get a combo basically just like that also one of her really great moves but the thing is that to get them in it it's gonna be hard because they're probably gonna be blocking so what you might want to do let me see could it even combo yeah, let me see i don't even know if it could combo i didn't really study this move too much oh yeah i just thought about that all right so yeah you, you, i think you could combo off it just like that all right it's not working but you guys can see the potential in this move so yeah it's definitely it's just like a little and and if you don't want to meter burn it because you just want to save me you can still go in on them and just do other combos like that there you go 21 damage all right uh bat wheel is uh the cart wheel a really good move it's an overhead so if they're ever blocking like this go ahead you got them with that Actually, I don't know if it is an overhead, but I think it is, even though it says mid. Oh, no, it says mid, mid, overhead. So, yeah, it is overhead. And, yeah, it's one of my favorite moves to do with her because you almost always get them with it. It's a really great move. Obviously, also, you could just uh, finish it with that, like a combo. Oh, not what I was doing. So, all her moves are really, like, combo enders or anti-air tools, which is really good. Let me see. Ooh, that was pretty cool. Whatever, guys. It's You can already see it's a really great move. There you go. Alright. And the last move, Redemption. Oh, that's pretty cool. So she just uh, strikes you a bunch with her... Uh... Look, she has like bat... Like, like you know, brass knuckles. But she has like bat knuckles. Alright. And the thing is, with this, you can actually turn on her trait, which is called... Gotham's Gauntlets. And what it does... It makes her her gauntlets uh, electrified like that. Just you just add electricity and just way more damage. 
Alright, so let's look at her move uh, without it. It does 11 damage, and now with it. Alright, and that was meter burn. Wait, what? Still 11 damage? Oh, okay, I don't know what it's for. Yeah, it does 11 damage. Wait, then what's the point of that move? Uh huh, she's just back there. Says the punch inflicts additional damage. No, it doesn't. Alright, let's do a regular combo stream. Alright, that was 10% damage. Now let's see with that on. Hey, what? Dude, this game is broken, guys. I think Injustice 2 broke this game. Alright, look. So I'm gonna do this little string, which is XXX. Right? Without without her trade on. And it does 10%. Now, with her trade on, that says additional damage. Uh, 8%. So, what the hell is happening here? I don't know. It says... Inflict. Oh, okay. It says... It says the electrified knuckles inflict additional damage on blocking opponents. And oh, wait, I can't see that. And did with back those fists. Apparently, it's still supposed to inflict damage regardless, but I don't know. It's not. So, that's really weird. So, anyway, guys, let's just move on to the combo. So, this is, uh, wait, how was it? Oh, okay, so her combo is super, it's, it's like almost, uh, it's probably the easiest one to do, and it does 52% damage. So, you just do her regular string, kick, and that's it. Wait. Actually, that wasn't it, because in the beginning it messed up. Alright, there you go, that's it. That was 5 hits, and now with her super, it's going to be like 10 or 12. Actually, it's just going to be 10. So you guys saw how simple that was, right? Easiest thing to do. And look at the damage, alright? Look under 10 hits, 53% damage. I said 52. Let's go ahead and do it one more time. Kick, wait, oh, I messed up there. Oh, messed up again. It's like so easy, yet I'm messing up. Alright, there you go. Alright, so yeah guys, so it's probably the simplest combo to do, but I'm going to show you another combo with her that's a little cooler. Because this one, like, it's it's so, like, uh, any anyone who just gets the game could probably do that. Alright, so I found this other combo, which is definitely cooler. Do that. Uh, meter burn, right. There you go. Alright, I actually missed one hit, but whatever. So you guys saw, this combo looks way more sophisticated than the last one and it's because it is it, and it looks cooler too oh man i'm not landing the last part but as you can see definitely a better looking combo than the last one you use her smoke bomb and then back three and then you just you finish it with this and then boom boom like that yeah all right we'll try one last time if not i guess that'll be the video guys because i think you guys already see enough what how long is this like 20 minutes <laughs> all right forget it and oh man this is a long video Alright, so anyway guys, let me know what you think about each of these characters. Also, do you think we should get Fighter Pack Zero or not? I think we should, because, I mean, who doesn't like, like, returning characters, right? But, if they were to ask, like, would you rather get Fighter Pack Zero or a Fighter Pack with even newer characters, I would definitely say newer characters. So anyway, let me know what you guys think of this. Like I said, uh, drop a like if you enjoyed, and subscribe for more. So thank you all for watching, that'll be all, and peace.